Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well today. I want to talk to you a bit about vertex maps and I've always been a little bit scared of vertex painting, uh, but it's actually a lot easier than you would imagine. And I'm going to walk you through it really quick. So the first thing to know is that you have to have something be editable in order to use vertex painting or mapping. So we're going to make sure that we have some subdivision on our plane and we'll hit C. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a deformer. We'll just add the displacer deformer because it's easy to visualize things. And we'll go ahead and add a noise in the shader. And let's go into that noise and crank up the animation speed just a little bit. So this is what happens. It, uh, it's going to go ahead and affect our plane. Let's say that we want to have this only affect a little portion of our plane. That's where vertex maps come in very handy. So we're going to turn off our displacer and we're going to go into our polygon mode and click our live selection tool. And let's go ahead and make a selection. If you want to make more than one selection on a piece, just hold shift down and pick another part of it. So there's our selection. Now all you have to do is either hit V and go to select set vertex weight, or you can go up to here, select set vertex weight. And we're gonna have this pop up, make sure this guy's at 100% and we'll hit okay. And now basically everything that's red will not be affected uh, by the deformer and everything that's yellow will be. So we now have this tag on here, which is our, uh, our vertex map tag. If you click on it once, you'll get this dialog, but if you double click on it, you'll get uh, some different options for your paint tool. Um, what we can actually do is change the mode. I think it's usually on add. If you change that to smooth, and then you click apply all, I think. Yeah, you can see that it's starting to smooth itself out a little bit. It's just gonna make the effect not quite as harsh. Uh, you can undo that if you want it to be a little bit harsher. So let's turn on our displacer and go back to our regular mode here and hit play. If you want to change the uh, view mode, just click off of that guy and you'll be able to see your plane. If you want to see your vertex map again, just double click it or click on it. So you can see that um, nothing's actually changed. That's because we need to add another tag onto the deformer. So if we right click on that deformer and then we go to Cinema 4D tags, we can go ahead and add a restriction tag. And the restriction tag and the, the uh, vertex map tag work together. So if we click on that restriction tag, we have all these slots and we'll just drag the other tag into there. You can't see it too well, but if we kick up the height, you can see it's only uh, affecting that little part of the plane, which is great. You're gonna have a lot of control over your deformers and how they interact with your object. So now that we know how to use the vertex map, let's jump into a practical example really quick. Let's say that you bought this model and it's completely static and you need these sails to be flapping in the breeze a little bit. Uh, just It doesn't have to be perfect, but just some kind of animation. Um, and let's say that you don't have cloth or you don't want to mess around with cloth dynamics, which can be a little bit finicky. You just want to throw a deformer on there and be done. So you put in a displacer deformer. We'll go ahead and add noise just like before. Crank up the animation speed and maybe make the glo global scale a little bit bigger. And we'll put that into the sail. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So this is kind of getting there. Uh, but if you look at the edges of this sail, it's not stuck on the wood. They're kind of bouncing around a little bit. And that kind of ruins the realism of it. So what we're going to do is use that exact technique that we just used. So we'll go to the sail, go to our polygon mode, and make sure we're on our live selection tool. And we're just going to select all the polygons except for that top row. So if we select all of them, Another thing that you could do is hit Command A, and that will select all of them. And then if you hold Command down, you can actually uncheck these. That might be a little bit faster. So here's our selection. And then we're going to hold V down and go to Select Set Vertex Weight. We're going to hit OK. And now we have our vertex weight just like before. Now remember, on our displacer, we also have to add a tag. And that tag is Cinema 4D Tags Restriction. And then we're going to drag that vertex tag into there, that vertex map. And now if we hit play, you can see that we're getting our noise animation, but the top row is completely stuck on there. It's not uh, being affected by the deformer. So that is um, kind of a practical example of how you might use this. So you'll have to play around with your noise a little bit to get it perfect. Um, but this is a really quick way of using a deformer and having a lot of control over um, what aspects of your model that it affects. Don't be scared of vertex maps. It's just uh, a little bit of a learning curve to set it up, but once you do, um, it's gonna open up a lot of possibilities for you. So I hope that you learned something. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.